What's good with y'all, man? It's y'all nigga Bruce dropping off. Coming back at y'all with another fucking story time. As y'all can see by the title, this ain't no, this ain't no regular story time. This shit really hit the motherfucking heart. So make sure y'all hit that thumbs up button down below for more story times. I know y'all niggas love these stories. Y'all niggas love my story times. Y'all always say they funny. Y'all love watching them and shit like that. And I just want to appreciate everybody for the support that I get. I don't know. Like, this shit is crazy to me still. I'm at almost 30,000 subscribers. And if you don't already, man, y'all niggas make sure y'all go follow my fucking Instagram. It's on the screen right now. Y'all niggas see it. Ray Condones. Make sure y'all go follow. I DM all my fans. I DM all my subscribers. Not fans. I don't like calling y'all that corny. Yeah, shit. All my subscribers back out. I, I just did talk to y'all like I would talk to regular people. Like when I'm in school, y'all hit me up when y'all in school. Shit, y'all just go follow, man. But let's get into this story time. So, man, I <laughs> y'all probably thought it was a fucking a joke, but like I had this pet turtle, my nigga. Pet turtle. This nigga was like my best fucking friend. His name was Jimmy. If y'all look at my PSN, if y'all look at my motherfucking, like, my bio, and y'all niggas, y'all be laughing at it, too. Y'all be like, hey, who is Jimmy? Like, I always have RP Jimmy, the nigga down, that drowned in hot sauce, drowned in, the, you know, all that funny shit. But this is a serious reason this is what happened. This is how my cousin killed my fucking best friend, so... Me and my uncle, we went fishing one day, right? We went fishing for it. We found a turtle. Well, he found it. And I was like, you know, shit, I might as well keep it. I'm going to name the nigga Jimmy. So I named him Jimmy. We found him. He gave me a band and all that shit to keep the turtle in, you know. He was a lake turtle or some shit like that. He was real fucking small. It was like a baby turtle. So I kept the turtle and shit. And I'm just like... Damn, like, this is my ride to die, you feel me? I was, like, 10 years old, 11. We, we was going fishing, and we just found this shit. So, I'm like, yeah, I never had no fucking pet. Mom should let me keep a turtle. So, shit, I kept it. And it was, like, we bonded so well. We, It was like he knew me. You feel me? <laughs> it was like the nigga knew me. No bullshit. So, it's like... I had him in a bin, right? I had him in a bin, and I would like kind of hide him when my cousin came over. My little cousin, little, remind you, little, had so much anger in her heart. Little cousin, her name is Ashanti, and I would hide it like under the, under my bed because she was always she would always be fucking with him, fucking with him for no reason, just like putting the nigga in the toilet for no fucking reason, just fucking with him, just torturing the nigga. So I would just hide him under my bed when she would come over, and I would just like put it under my put the bin under my bed and i wasn't there because i used to switch from my mom's to my dad house like from week from week so my sister would have the shit and she was over there one day and she found it obviously just fucking rambling through shit just found the fucking turtle out of nowhere and when she found it she just went ham like she went ham it, she didn't she didn't fucking kill it this day but she was going ham with the shit throwing the shit at the wall just fucking throwing the shit like a fucking beyblade or some shit you feel me for like motherfucker just just uh, slashing the bitch like a Yu-Gi-Oh card and i'm like what the fuck like who oh my god it just it, it, it was it was horrible when she was telling me what the fuck she was doing and I'm just like, cause my sister, she had called me or whatever. She was, I was, I had called her to make sure like she didn't fucking find her or she know what the fuck she was doing with the turtle because it was like she was fucking up. So I get back over there and like I, I just, I didn't believe it. My mom told me that she stepped on the shit. She a town stumped on my shit. She okay, ATL, boom, boom, boom on my shit like. I, I, I couldn't believe the shit because it was like I had to see it for myself. I had to see it for myself when she was over there. So I'm just like, I'm just like, I just wanted to just yoke her shit up and just, oh boy, just goddamn. Oh my. She stepped on my fucking turtle. Like, how can you step on the fucking turtle? You over here hitting the nay nay and shit on my fucking pet turtle. Like, what the fuck? You, you over here hitting the stanky leg on my shit. The beef it up on my shit. Fucking just, oh my god, just fucking stomp the shit out like the nigga stole something from me. Just, and I, I go outside because she was outside playing on the patio with the turtle, right? And she stood up, stepped back. <laughs> Shell crap, nigga is splattered. Nigga just dead. You ever stepped on a mushroom? That's what this shit look like. Nigga just dead. 
just, I, I'm just, I'm just in tears right now. I'm just like, bro, what the fuck? I go in my room when I get home and I see the carrots. They in the bin. He take a little nibble of the carrots, so I know the nigga dead. So it, I, that's when I knew it was true. I, that's when I knew it was true, nigga. He didn't take a little nibble of the carrots, my nigga. He. The carrot would always be bitten, and it's so sad because when I got there, I just, I, that was the first thing I looked at. Like, the carrots wasn't bitten into. So I'm just like, yep, it, it gotta be true. Like, unless the nigga just hasn't been in the bed. You feel me? Like, unless he just wasn't hungry, but that's not true. It's all like, man, I was just. <sighs> it was just a, a, a sad experience when she just stumped on my fucking turtle. RP Jimmy, man, like, that nigga, he ain't deserve none of this shit, bro, like, he really, he was out here living, bro, that nigga was out here living, you feel me, like, nigga was out here living, man, but, man, if y'all enjoyed this story time, this a little quick story, man, from the heart, make sure y'all leave a fucking like, if y'all want more story time, let's go ahead and get, man, let's get a thousand likes for Jimmy, man, that's all I'm gonna say, thousand likes for jimmy man if y'all can't do a thousand likes for jimmy man oh uh, man that shit sad bro rp that nigga jimmy man rp that nigga that nigga was one years old that nigga was like eight months that nigga was just coming out the womb i was his dad you feel me i had turtle six i said it fuck but yeah man make sure y'all go follow me on instagram ray condones and y'all just rp jimmy man y'all follow me like this video 1000 likes we do it for jimmy you feel me that's, that's all we do it for that's all we know and that's all we don't know you feel me rp that nigga jimmy man that nigga died got ran over by a, a tractor